Greetings, all! Today, we will be examining the uncommon Electric Flying, Psychic Flying, Fire Flying, or Ghost Flying type Pokémon Oricorio, the Dancing Pokémon. Though they might just appear to be pretty birds to many and little more, Oricorio are fascinating creatures whose myriad array of forms helps to set them apart and heavily diversify them depending upon the location where they live. In their pom-pom style form, these creatures possess yellow feathers with long pink legs covered in whitish feathers at their base, a pink beak, a skirt of feathers at their waist, and a pair of feather balls at their wing tips that make it very difficult for them to fly, but otherwise are perfect for charging electricity outside of their bodies. They have black eyes with white pupils and a twin crest of yellow feathers with darkened tips, the same color as their pom-pom feather balls, the feathers on the sides of their eyes, the feathers near their feet, and a small V-shaped marking on their chest. In their Pau style form, these birds possess pink feathers with a series of three longer faded feathers at the tips of their wings. They possess a skirt of feathers of gradually fading color that extends down to near their feet, and their head is similarly crowned with a cone of feathers of the same form and color pattern. In their Baile style form, these birds possess brilliant red feathers with three finger-like feather extensions at their wing tips and a series of black wing projections along their form, with a double row of these feathers on their wings as well as their tail. Their eyes are complemented by dark blue eyelids, while their pink beak is also complemented by a large white ball of feathers on the back of their head and a pair of looped tissue at the sides of their head, looking almost like earrings. Finally, in their sensu style form, these creatures have pale violet feathers with layers of pink and light blue feathers at the edges of their body and large fan-shaped feather extensions at the ends of their wings. Their long tail has a flowing appearance to it and their head is adorned by a similar fan-shaped crest with a pair of feather sprigs on each side of their forehead and a set of small blue feathers at the corners of their eyes. Oricorio are unique among bird Pokémon not only for the relative isolation within the Alola region, but, more importantly, because of the unique variety of forms that they take within the region. It is believed that these birds once originated elsewhere in unknown parts before arriving in the Alola region, and from there, they underwent a process of adaptive radiation in response to the different types of food that could be found in the region's four islands. In particular, it is believed that these creatures began to diversify due to the presence of special nectars that come from specific species of flowers that they regularly dine on in addition to various nuts and fruits. These nectar items have unique chemical compounds within them that have helped to facilitate the development of different powers among these creatures, but as a whole, they are still unified by having the same overall stats and moveset available to them which, unfortunately, is quite limited. Still, their body forms are incredibly flexible, as they can switch between different forms and mating dance styles through the ingestion of different types of nectar, granting them a degree of versatility that goes beyond what most Pokémon are capable of. Moreover, they are unified by the fact that they have evolved to turn their mating dances into an actual way of life at all times, and even a weapon of war granting them access to a signature attack and ability to boot. In terms of combat capabilities, these dancing birds are able to combine the unique elemental attributes their nectar of choice has granted them to deliver a unique attack in the form of the Revelation Dance attack. In using this move, these creatures pour their heart and soul into their dancing and use it to rapidly build up a charge of elemental energy around their bodies, which, when fully charged, can then be released as a massive surge of damaging energy. As a result of the differing elemental properties of their forms, the type of damage dealt by this attack is different depending on what form uses it, with the Pom Pom style producing an electric type attack, the Pao U style producing a psychic type attack, the Bai Lei style producing a fire type attack, and the Senzu style producing a ghost type attack. In addition, their choice to use their mating dances as a way of life also grants them access to a special signature ability, Dancer, which allows them to perfectly replicate and instantly repeat any dance-based move used by another Pokémon in a battle without wasting their combat turn, thus enabling them to take whatever dance skills another Pokémon in a battle may have 
and perfectly copy them to make the most of their moves and potentially turn the moves against an opponent. With all of this said though, in looking at their stats, Oracorio are very close to traditional birds in terms of their biology and are thus fairly limited in their combat abilities, as most of their base stats are below average for a Pokemon of all of the species possible types. The only exceptions are having an above average base special attack stat for a fully evolved flying and ghost type Pokemon, and an above average base speed stat for a fully evolved electric, psychic, fire, and ghost type Pokemon. Even so, these birds can still prove to be a unique challenge to have to face, and can more than put their dance skills to good use in a fight when needed. From here, it is important that we break down the different forms of Oracorio and observe the behavioral and elemental characteristics that separate them. First of all, there is their pom pom style form, which is electric flying and comes as a result of them drinking yellow nectar found on Mele Mele Island. This variation of Oracorio is generally quite upbeat and enjoys cheering up others with its excited dancing and cheering, much like Plusle and Minan. The electrical powers of these creatures comes from their feathers, which are built in such a way as to create a powerful static charge when they rub up against each other, and with their bodies fully charged, these creatures will deliver their electrical attacks by forcefully punching targets with their electrified pom-poms, where most of these special feathers are stored on their body. The cheerful dances of these birds are said to be able to uplift the spirits of even the most downtrodden of souls when they observe them, and this variation is known for going out of the way to do so for those that are in an unpleasant mood. But caution is recommended when facing them, as while their dancing might seem friendly and welcoming, it is also a ruse, as they will use it to lure their opponents into a false sense of security before leaping over them and delivering an electrical jolt with their feather pom-poms making them tricky fighters that should be guarded against in a fight to prevent them from using their best assets as a weapon. Secondly, there is their Pao Wu style form, which is psychic flying and comes as a result of them drinking pink nectar found on Akala Island. This style relies more on a calming dance style as a way of life, focusing on movements that involve their hips gently swaying back and forth in a rhythmic fashion in order to soothe others and bring an air of calm to their surroundings. However, this is also their primary means of storing energy, as the pink nectar they feast on activates a hidden psychokinetic organ in their bodies that allows them to store psychic energy in their form. Once they feel that a target has had its heart melted by their dancing and has been swayed into a calm, false peace, they will unleash their stored psychic energy to attack, delivering a potent burst that can certainly send weaker Pokémon reeling. The calm, hip-swaying motion of these birds can make them a treat to watch, but it is noted that they may occasionally get so focused and caught up in their dancing that they may end up droning out all other sounds, resulting in them unintentionally failing to hear their trainers and their orders, in turn making them a bit tricky to work with. Thirdly, there is their Bailei style form, which is fire flying and comes as a result of them drinking red nectar found on Ula Ula Island. The nectar found on this island has the effect of altering their feather biology temporarily to allow the release of a gas that readily ignites when it comes into contact with oxygen, allowing them to produce brilliant flames when they move their body rapidly. Their dancing style is highly energetic and passionate, and this passion translates well to others as many feel their own bodies being ignited by a fiery passion these birds demonstrate in their dancing. This, of course, is a bad thing in battle, as while they are distracting their opponents with their dancing, these creatures will release this flammable gas into the air and beat their wings rapidly to create a shower of flames in step with their dancing that, while doing nothing to their now fireproof feathers, scorches the surrounding area and leaves everything around them noticeably burnt especially the opponents that they have won the hearts of through their dancing. While this can make them a decent force to reckon with, it is noted that these birds are quite headstrong and will only fight opponents the way that they wish to. If their trainers give them orders that they disagree with, they will stop listening to them and will go about fighting as they wish to. Lastly, there is their Sensu style form which is ghost flying and comes as a result of them drinking purple nectar from Pony Island. This refined style, which is said to have been the inspiration for many traditional dances held during sacred rituals in the Alola region, 
is one fueled by spiritual energy in a way that other birds are simply unable to replicate. It is said that the unique style of dancing displayed by these creatures in this form allows them to harmonize with the spirit world and both communicate with the dead and use their power to their will. Using their elegant, dreamy dancing as a weapon, these creatures will use their dancing to help charm and harmonize others with the spirits around them and temporarily send their hearts and minds straight into another world beyond that of the living. As they do this, however, it allows them to feed off of and charge up malicious spiritual energy within them, summoning the dead to their side and, with a forceful blast, then releasing this energy in the form of a powerful curse when the opposition's guard is down that will ensure the demise of that opponent in the near future, though incidents of this leading to the actual death of a target are incredibly small in number. Still, this can make them incredibly tricky to deal with, and more than worth taking seriously in a fight if they choose to use this power to their advantage. They might be among the most unconventional of bird Pokémon out there, but Oricorio are still brilliant birds that can more than put their unique biology and dancing skills to good use in a fight to dazzle and amaze opponents. It will probably take you some time to figure out what style works the best for you in battle, but with at least four different options to choose from, it can definitely be said that versatility, to some degree or another, is on these birds' side. Just do yourself a favor, and try not to get too enthralled by their dancing too much if you want to take them down effectively. They are more than a bit limited in terms of general move variety as a whole, but let them get their groove on, and you may end up facing the worst special power they have to offer in a way you may be too enthralled by to mount a proper defense against. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always an honor to be able to speak with you all on the subject of Pokemon in a way that brings me great joy and happiness in my work. If you would like to keep tabs on past and future work, click that subscribe button, check out my work on DeviantArt, and don't be shy about following me on Twitter, where you can find pertinent announcements on upcoming work before it is officially posted. Links to both can be found in the video description. If you would like to support my work and help Miguel and I continue to produce more content for you and improve upon our presentation, please visit us at my Patreon page, which you can also find a link to in the video description. Yeah, no. With that, I thank you for watching and I wish you well.